Hey guys, Chris Fix here and today I'm going to be doing the follow-up video for the gum out fuel cleaner test. If you haven't seen the previous video, go check that one out. I go into all the details on how I do my test. And in that video, I just use one container and I go through the before and after. So before I didn't use any fuel cleaners and I show what the inside of the engine looks like. And then the after is after I use one fuel cleaner from gum out using their instructions. This follow-up video is using another bottle of gum out. You guys said, well, maybe since this is the first time you used the gum out, it didn't get completely cleaned just because it's the first time you're using it. You know, things need to get loosened up, and if you use it the second time, it might work better. So I went a total of 524 miles, and you can see over here that my gas is all the way empty, so I used every drop of that fuel additive. So I've run two things of gum out all in one through my engine and a total of over 500 miles. So let's check it out and see if we got any difference in results. So just to be clear, we're looking for carbon deposits in the combustion chamber, which gum out says on their bottle should be cleaned up. And also it says you'll see these improvements in just one use. So this is my second use, so I should really see improvements. So I just want to point that out again, even though if you've seen it in the other video. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's take the borescope camera. Let's go into cylinder number one. And let's see if we have any better results. Cylinder number one. So let's see here. Just taking a look at it real quick. It doesn't look any better. I still see carbon, but let's go check out the before and after. Okay, when looking at the before and after, it does look like some of the carbon is getting broken up. Right in the middle on the after, you can see that there's a big spot where the carbon has broken off. But it's nothing significant. So let's go check out to see if there's anything in cylinder two. Okay, when we first look, this actually looks pretty good. Let's go check out the before and after. Okay, before and after looks about the same. The carbon chunk on the right does look like it got a little bit smaller. And you can kind of see when you compare the before and after that some of the carbon is getting reduced. So we're not getting anything significant, but we are getting some carbon reduction. So that's enough of cylinder two. Let's check out cylinder three. So I can still see carbon in cylinder 3, let's check out the before and after. So cylinder 3 seems like it actually got worse, which is interesting. Maybe the before actually just looks cleaner than it really is, and the after is some carbon getting broken down, so you can see more of the carbon since it's not flat and smooth. But I'm not sure, and it's kind of hard to tell, so let's move on. So that's cylinders 1 through 3, let's check out cylinders 4 through 6. Okay, cylinder 4. Let's check out the before and after. This looks about the same. Actually, the carbon buildup on the edge does look a little bit better. Not much, again, not significant, but there seems to be some cleaning. Let's get out of cylinder four, check out cylinder five. Okay, that carbon's still there. Let's see a before and after. Now, when we're looking at the before and after, if you look at the right of the screen, you can see the after has less carbon. So some of that carbon was cleaned up. This is probably the most significant change that we've seen so far, but still most of that carbon is left in that cylinder, so it's nothing significant. So let's get out of cylinder five and check out the last cylinder, cylinder number six. This actually looks pretty good. Let's get a before and after. It's hard to tell if there's any real difference here. I mean, the biggest thing is there's still a lot of carbon in there. Carbon buildup is not gone. Piston is not completely cleaned or even halfway cleaned or, or even a quarter of the way cleaned. So I think that just gives us a pretty good idea after round two of gum out what kind of results you should expect when using it. So after round two of the test where I used another bottle, what do I think? Well, the facts are I ran two bottles of gum out all in one for a total of 500 miles to try to clean the engine. And I really didn't see any difference in results compared to the last video. Actually, in the last video, it seemed that there might have been more results where the engine seemed to get cleaner. And that might be due to the fact that this was the first time that I ever used an engine fuel system cleaner. So anything that was loose and dirty did get cleaned, and it left the hard carbon deposits that are really baked on. So we didn't really see much of a difference. This time we did see a small amount of hard carbon deposits get removed, which is better than the first test where we didn't really see any of that hard carbon deposit get removed. But it was really so small it was insignificant. Overall, I think Gum Out All-in-One has its place, but what it says on the bottle and the results I got were not the same. This test was specifically for carbon deposits, and I think it's safe to say we didn't get the results shown on the bottle. Don't get me wrong, this stuff might work great for fuel injectors, and I'm sure it does keep corrosion at a minimum in the engine and fuel system, but as for carbon deposits, I was pretty disappointed on the cleaning capability. Maybe if this stuff is used for every fill-up 10 to 15 times in a row, you'll notice similar results shown on the bottle, but with one or even two bottles, you will not see those results. You saw the before and after in both videos, and it does remove that soft sludgy carbon really well, 
but it doesn't remove the hard carbon deposits. So don't think you'll put a bottle of this in your engine and it'll be clean afterwards. But I'm still on the hunt to see if we could find a good engine cleaner that will clean out the engine. I'm going to be doing the water spray test soon, see if we could get some water inside that intake. We know that head gasket leaks cause the engine to get steam cleaned. What happens on the short term when we're spraying water in the intake? Does it actually steam clean the engine at all? Well, we'll find that out. And we'll also be testing sea foam and this Tetron fuel cleaner. A lot of you guys said that this stuff is really good and obviously everybody knows about sea foam. We'll see if these two things actually do anything. And I also have some Lucas fuel cleaner which is actually being tested right now in another car. We'll see if that does anything. And some cool videos upcoming, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Then you get updates on when I make these videos and also other how-to videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up and consider sharing it. I'm really excited to try these two out, especially the seafoam. Everybody likes seeing the seafoam smoke up, so we'll see what happens.